As you all know, we have a new mob in the game, introduced in 1.15, it's the bee. So if you haven't been paying attention, this is the new mob. And they are attracted to flowers, and they live in here. Well, most of the time, after pollinating, they'll find their way back into this house. Now here's the thing, I have done suicidal mobs twice on this channel. I did suicidal Enderman, where they would place a redstone block, on this TNT world and kill themselves. I've also done suicidal foxes where the fox would have something in their mouth, a redstone block, and if they swap it out for a food item, that redstone block drops, activates the TNT, foxes go boom. I wasn't gonna do one for bees until Reddit user Donovan Danger posted on my subreddit r/phoenixsc asking for one. <laughs> and so here we go. Allow me to explain how this is gonna work. This bee is going to land on this flower, collect whatever it wants to collect, nectar, pollen, and it's going to run back into this beehive. Now the beehive isn't going to activate this observer block, which will trigger the TNT, until the bee exits, because that is when the honey value on this block increases by one, thereby updating it, and that's gonna take some time. So it's all a waiting game. Let's get this started. All right, no AI. Deactivate it, it's gonna go straight to the flower. And then, I don't know, about 30 seconds? It lasts about 30 seconds. It's an oversized bee, so this is clearly not physically possible what it's doing. It's That's not how you collect nectar or anything from a flower, really. Uh, also, bees can't see red. <laughs> so I guess this is why it's gonna kill itself because it doesn't recognize that this is dangerous. They can't see red because it's they're part of the, the spectrum isn't aligned. But as you can see, now it's gone. It's gone inside this beehive, and now we need to wait. So to speed it up, let's spawn a lot of them. Only one of them decides to go in the flower. But if you listen closely in here, it's doing some work inside the beehive. There you go. It's like buzzing inside. Uh, I think one of them's entered, right? There are two in here now, I think. Yeah, there are two. Uh, one here, one here. So there are two bees inside the beehive. There can be a third you, you gotta do it, man. How long is it gonna take? Last time I tried this, it took like five minutes. It takes a while to increase the honey value on this block. I think it's frozen. Oh, no. <laughs> I was gonna say it's petrified, but now... No way into these types of videos. Anytime there's a new mob, I'm gonna do this. Oh, there's one surviving. They, they're surviving. How are you guys alive? No, that can't be right. No, it's dead. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be laughing at this. They'll be dead. By the time it reaches here, oh, it's a baby. What's a baby bee called? It's not a lava because it doesn't look like one. I'm not gonna rest until they're all dead. It took some damage. And it's dead. <laughs> 